Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the new Quarter MIP. Now this is a product from Huawei and it costs about $99, which is actually a little bit higher than the current MIP. However, you actually get a lot more out of this. Now this here is an educational tool that allows you to create your own animations as well as your own programs for the MIP. So it's really unique. Uh, now the MIP itself came out a while ago. It's more of an entertainment robot that allows you to play games and also has a very neat balancing feature. But in this case, we'll actually look at the new quarter map. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box and see what it's all about. All right, so this here is the box. Now, no, it is actually quite large. Uh, the robot itself isn't really that big, and it's actually right over here. Uh, it does have a transparent body compared to the solid white that the typical MIP has. Also, the MIP does come in a black, and there's some special edition like gold. Uh, now, note on the cover itself, it does show the MIP on a balancing board, so that is actually included with it, as well as some off-road uh, tires as well, so that's really nice. And then in addition, it actually shows you a quick little script here, so like for instance, if you clap your hands, uh, the robot will move forward and blink his chest LED, and then you can add your own commands on top of that. So the possibilities are pretty much endless when it comes to that. Uh, and then this is a Bluetooth device as well as has rechargeable batteries, which the other MIP does not have. And it does have a gest uh, gesture sense, so if you kind of wave in front of the robot, it'll actually respond accordingly. Now, if you look on the side here, it kind of shows a little bit more details in terms of uh, what you can do with this. So you can um, take the MIP on a terrain, meaning it does have off-road tires, so you can take it off-road. Uh, you can take it on the ramp, and of course it does have the rechargeable battery. On the back here actually has a little bit more specific details regarding the coding aspect of it. Now, like over here, since it's, uh, if you clap, the robot will rotate left a 90 degree angle. Uh, then the chest will blink red, and then it'll play a sound like an angry sound. Uh, then there's infinite combinations, so when, if, and then kind of uh, situations. And then over here, it's like giving you an example of, for instance, if the, the robot is holding a tray and the tray has a specific amount of weight, then the robot will correspond accordingly. So this one is showing that if you put uh, the dog food into his tray, if the weight is a specific amount, it'll move forward, right, and then right into the dog tray and drop it off in there. So that's really cool to see that you can actually create your own programs. Uh, then on this side here, we have some other information. Again, uh, there's a balancing tray as well as the ability to carry objects and then the use of hand gestures, which is also very nice. So let's go ahead and open this up just a little bit more and take a look at the insides. All right, so let's go ahead and take the MIP out. Uh, so right away, he is the same size as the previous MIP. I think you could tell right there, so <laughs> really nice. Uh, then uh, he does have a nice transparent body, so you can actually could see all the inner workings, which is really cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and put him to the side for now. And then we have the balancing tray over here, and then some off-road tires, so you kind of just go ahead and mount those up. Uh, then here is the battery pack. So this is the rechargeable battery pack, so I believe it just kind of kind of just slips right into the back over here and you can just go ahead and charge it up. So there we go, that was pretty easy. And then this is the balancing tray and it doesn't really come with anything else. So let's go ahead and charge this up and take a look. All right, so our MIP's all ready to go. Let's go ahead and set up the app here and connect to our coder MIP. Uh, so we'll go ahead and select on that and hit the checkbox here. All right, so our MIP's finally all ready to go. Uh, the first feature we'll look at is Drive. Now, this here is the MIP uh, actual app itself, so you can use this with any MIP, not just the coder version. But the Drive version allows you to just kind of control him, meaning move forward, move back, then turn right and turn left. Uh, so it kind of gives you full control over that. Cans is a, a feature that kind of gives you uh, personality to the MIP. So I can feed him different cans from happy, guilty, grumpy, angry, sad, etc. Uh, so if I give him happy, uh, yeah. So I just fed him and then he'll react to it. So that's him happy. Uh, and then there's different ones like angry, sad, so like if I get him sad. So that, that's him sad. I think he's crying. Uh, so then there's different ones here. Uh, there's funky, there's stompy, there's party. Uh, so if I give him party, let's see what party does. Kind of curious on that. And then... Oh, yeah, so that was, that was the party version. Uh, so let's take a look at this one here. This is Stompy. So I'm not sure what this is. Um... All 
All right, so that's Stompy. Uh, and then here's Funky. <laughs> Let's kind of bring back over here again. Uh, so then in addition, there's Punchy. So let's try Punchy. <laughs> uh, then we have Victory. All right. So obviously, you know, there's different personalities you can do from sleepy, chatty, farty, farty. <laughs> okay, I got to see that one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so let's go ahead and go to the next mode. Uh, now, no, this guy actually does have a very good bouncing feature. So if I'm like, I'm pushing him right now and he's constantly like correcting himself, which is really nice. Uh, if we go into the dance mode here, there's different kind of dances that you can do. Uh, so I have to, what I do is I pick a song. So whatever, you know, this comes with the iPhone. So I'll just select that and hit play. And then he's dancing to the song itself. So that's really cool that, you know, it gives you control over his ability to dance. Uh, so if we go ahead and go into the next mode, so in this mode here, we can actually shoot at each other. So let's go ahead and try that out. So, uh, in this case here, you know, it does show there's some destruction on here and you can actually kind of rotate, uh, your MIP and kind of face them toward each other to shoot. So, uh, kind of gives you an idea, obviously, you know, it's based on health. So once your health runs out, you lose. Uh, then in addition, there's also boxing. So boxing works something like this. Uh, so you just kind of control it, pressing left and right. <laughs> so uh, obviously this little guy is the winner right here. <laughs> oh, I guess he just k <laughs> All right, so stack is another feature in here that allows you to, it's like a game where you see how high you can stack things on him. So for instance, if I put the wheel on him, he'll actually try balancing it. I put a second wheel on it, he'll try balancing it, and then vice versa. You just keep going ahead and you can stack pretty much anything from water bottles to a flashlight, I don't know. But um, yeah, so you just go ahead and continue and then it kind of measures the height at the end. So let's go ahead and kind of exit out of this app here. Uh, so it kind of gives you an idea of what you know MIP's capable of. Uh, all right, so in addition to the other features, you can actually use the balancing board. Now this here is just like a little stuck board that kind of like a teeter-totter. Uh, so he, the MIP can actually drive up on it and then you know, it'll just, it'll just kind of tip over. Uh, just kind of something fun to do. Uh, you can create your own obstacle courses. Of course, you can always use the off-road vehicle tires as well. This kind of gives them more uh, play where you can actually drive over like bumps and whatnot. So let's go ahead and exit out of this app here. And then we'll go ahead and load up the Coder MIP app. All right, so this here is the Coder MIP app. Now the app itself is pretty self-explanatory. It gives you two examples right off the back. Kind of teaches you how to use the light as well as how to make MIP talk. So let's go ahead and go with the light one first. Uh, so I'm going to create my own project here and just I'll just label it P for now. But this kind of shows you exactly what the coding is. So if you clap twice, his chest will be yellow. Uh, he'll start off with the chest LED of pink. Uh, then he has a gesture swipe, so he'll actually move with that as well. So let's go ahead and hit play here and connect to our MIP. So it's currently uh, picking it up. There we go. And we are good. So if I clap twice, his chest LED just turned yellow. So that's showing that it is working. In addition, there is the hand gesture. So if I, um, I believe if I, yeah, there you go. So, so literally if I just kind of push it forward, he'll move, he'll move back. So there you go. So that's interesting how that works. So let's go ahead and create our own. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here. And then I'm gonna hit home and then I'm gonna go ahead and click plus and I'll hit test or whatever, that's fine. Uh, so then I go into events here and this allows me to start and then you can do a position change, swipe, weight, clap, etc. So depending on how much weight he has, then it'll actually move or if you clap, etc. So let's do clap first. Oops. Sorry, there we go. So I'll just, it's kind of just a drag and drop and then you pick the number of claps that you want. So I'll just stick with three for now. And then here's, there's logic as well. So it'll actually wait a few seconds or it'll repeat an action. And then these are the different actions that you can change. So, uh, and then there's motions. 
Now, for instance, like uh, if I click on, say, rotate, if I clap three times, he'll rotate. I can go ahead and change the rotation speed. So I can do it really, really fast. And then I can control how fast, uh, how much of a rotation I want. So let's go and try this out. So I hit play. Uh, so, sorry, connect to MIP and play. There we go. So that was the actual script in action. All right, so in this scenario here, I created this small little script here. Uh, what I did was I picked a weight of a marker pen, but you can always like change it to like a TV remote or a can of soda. Uh, so it's a minimum weight. If I put that weight on his thing, then he'll perform the action. In this case, he'll burp and then wait two seconds and then he'll fall backwards. Uh, so let's go ahead and you can always like change it, like fall forward or change the sound effect to like all these different ones. So let's hit play. So now he's in the mode, so I'm going to go ahead and put the weight on him and see what he does. So he's going to go ahead and try balancing it. And he's burped, one, two, and he'll fall backwards. There you go. So it just kind of gives you an idea of what he's capable of and what he can do. Alright, well that pretty much summarizes both of the MIPS. Uh, it kind of gives you an idea. They're actually both very identical. The only difference is that he has more sensors, he has a rechargeable battery, and you have the capability of creating your own animations, which is actually really unique. Uh, obviously the price difference is there, but it's up to you to make that decision. Uh, I really do like both of them, uh, but uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!